Hear from key opinion leaders in nursing education and their experience with SIM capture for skills and why data-driven assessment and evaluation is important. So data and evaluation is important for nursing programs because we're preparing students to enter into clinical practice. And we need to be able to measure their performance, uh, make sure that they're meeting the objectives that we're telling our clinical partners they are, are competent in. Um, as far as data collection, that is only going to help nursing programs who really analyze what they're collecting and then you have to do something with that data. You can't just collect it and look at it. Um, there's the follow-up piece is the most important. As you all know, I'm a fan of the nursing process and it's always a process improvement. Evaluation is that key piece that's going to help you make changes in your program. So I think it's key. You almost have to start backwards um, sometimes. Look at your evaluation, then look at your assessment. See where you are and where you need to be. Simulation labs and simulation um, as a pedagogy is a large investment in terms of you know space, equipment, faculty time. So you need to be able to demonstrate outcomes of how that um, you're getting a return on investment um, with that educational strategy. Um, we found it really incredibly important, though, also to inform our curriculum, because in the clinical setting. It's very haphazard what kind of you know, patients or experiences students may encounter. In simulation, we can provide that standardized experience, and then we can see how students perform, and it enables us to evaluate what are our students' strengths and what areas are they weaker in, and then how can we adjust our teaching strategies or curricular integration to um, address some of those weaker areas. So at UMass Boston, we have implemented uh, data collection and assessment in multiple areas. One, we have the students who are working together, they're assessing each other. The students also assess the faculty using uh, vetted tools uh, after they've completed their simulation sessions. Um, faculty are assessing each other and we can really make big changes. We've had um, a significant improvement in the, the teaching that has been delivered um, because faculty are able to take that data and see where there, there is room for improvement and where their strengths are. And once we capture that, then we can pair faculty together. We can, we can put students who are really strong in one area together. We've got a whole nurse mentor program that has come out of this. And so your data really does, I say it all the time, it tells a story, but you have to be able to read what the data is telling you and then do something with it. I think what we've done is looking at the data and then identifying areas of weakness that need to be addressed um, on a programmatic or curricular level and then as a faculty deciding okay well how can we best um, improve the students level of performance so that may involve more um, deliberate practice time using the the um, uh, sim capture for skills platform for a peer-to-peer -peer program um, embedding certain um, events in a simulation that would require the students to get repetitive exposure to skills that they may have been weaker in. Those would be some examples. So my number one tip for other schools who are just getting started would be to look at what you're already collecting. Is it on paper? What are you doing with it? Start with something that is manageable. I say it all the time, you're not going to be able to do everything all at once. But just pick one thing, start there, make changes. Don't feel like you have to get it right on the first try. Um, this has been, like I said, two years in the making, and we're constantly changing things for, for the better. We want to improve. Don't be afraid to do a really good, deep assessment of your program. Uh, you might not like what you find, but it's always a learning process and there's always room for improvement. So open it up, look at it, uh, address your, your needs and your gaps uh, and start there.
So I would say, you know, start with, you need to start with where's your program at right now and where are the needs at? Um, and the, the platform is very helpful in enabling you to collect a variety of actual outcome data on your student's performance. I think one of the, the, the challenges in the simulation community is that typically when we think of collecting evaluation data, a lot of what's been collected is at the level of student satisfaction and is not actual student performance data. So the platform provides a really good way to um, organize and capture that data. If you are interested in learning more about peer-to-peer -peer training solutions or tools to leverage data throughout your curriculum, visit laerdell.com slash simcaptureforskills.